mind needs its own space. Otherwise, it gets overcome by the affairs of the world. This is what you're creating as you're meditating, your own little territory here. Inside the body, you want to make sure that the breath energy is good and that your awareness fills the body so that your, your energy field is not invaded by other people's energy. This gives you your space so that you can look at the world you can be in the world but not have to run after the world, because the world spins around all the time. And its spinning is not innocent. It's like the spinning of gears. If you have a sleeve or some part of your clothing gets caught in the gears, it just pulls you in, pulls you in. You just gotta, you'll have to abandon whatever that is that's got pulled into the world. So you have to keep yourself separate and make sure you don't have any hanging attachments like sleeves and other parts of clothing that can get caught in the affairs of the world. You have your territory, and you have to have a very clear idea where the world's territory is. And you participate, and you live in the world and deal with other people, but you've got to have your own space. Because otherwise the affairs of gain and loss and status and loss of status and praise and criticism and pleasure and pain, they invade the mind. And they pull you in, pull you in. So you've got to have your territory, make sure the world has its territory, and then you can live in peace. You deal with the affairs of the world. But remember, it's their affairs. Whatever gain you get for the world, remember that you look on, on money, it doesn't have your name on the money. Even if your credit card has your name, the big one, important name in the credit card, of course, is the bank. Same with status. These are things that people can give and people can take away. Praise is something they can give. Criticism is something they can give. All these things belong to them, so make sure you realize okay, that's their territory. But you have your territory here inside, and you want to make this territory solid and secure so it's not spinning around with the world. That way you keep your, your view straight, you keep your opinion straight. Things don't get skewed by the, the spinning of the world. And that we have a clear sense of what's up and down and north and south. And don't get your directions all mixed up. So try to have a sense of this solid stable point in the middle of all the spinning. The world spins, but you don't spin along with it. That's when you can live in the world and not suffer from the world.